Mohammed should be banned. It's not a French name. Says who? Some presidential candidacy hopeful called Eric Zimmer. But before we get into a discussion of whether people should have a say in choosing their children's name, let's take a look at this specific name and the history behind it. Mohammed comes from the root hamd, meaning praise. This name can be translated as praised or praiseworthy. In order to understand why the Prophet of Islam was called praiseworthy, one needs a working knowledge of history. Some 1400 years ago, this man brought a religion under which all people are equal. That the only quality that sets some above the rest is faith, not their fame and fortune, not their gender or skin color. He elevated the condition of women from being treated like property to owning property. He prescribed freeing slaves as compensation for lost religious duties. He spoke of everyone's right and responsibility to learn and better themselves. The last prophet was worthy of praise because of his approach to God's other creations. He set up strict guidelines for caring for and consuming animal meat. He made wasting illegal, even if it is the water of a river. He instructed Muslims with rules against harming trees and the wildlife, even during war. He's certainly worthy of praise because of his approach to earning and spending money. He made it illegal to make money from money, which is usury. He encouraged Muslims to lend money to those in need and forbade charging interest. He set up an annual tax for the rich to prevent the circulation of money in the hands of the rich. He set a right for women to the money of the men in their family, but made women entitled to all their own money. Prophet Muhammad elevated the status of a people of small tribes and constant wars to a nation of 1.8 billion adhering to the same holy book. For all these actions and more, the Prophet of Islam is worthy of praise. So it's no wonder that tens of millions of people around the world named their children after him.